Welcome. I grew up in a little city called Athens, Georgia, 60 miles from Atlanta. Uh, we have a university there called the University of Georgia. More importantly, we have the Georgia Bulldogs. That's spelled D-A-W-G-S. We have football there, but we also have an educational institution there. We have a great business school, entrepreneurial school, and it's a great little town that many people migrate to. Jim Flannery is one such person. He lived in Boston, he lived in New York, he lived four years in San Francisco, and he came from San Francisco to live in Athens, Georgia. And there he has been for the last number of years helping entrepreneurs start and grow their businesses. Jim, tell us exactly, what do you do? I don't know if I'm sure what I do on a daily basis, um, but For Athens is, is a community of entrepreneurs. Um, I help connect um, founders, risk takers, people that want to be involved in starting companies, connect to funding sources, connect to mentors, and connect to talent that can help them grow their business. Are these people that have had other work experiences? Are they college graduates? Are they people that are out in the world? It, it runs the entire spectrum. Um, anyone from a college kid who's just coming to the University of Georgia for the first time to someone that has had you know, decades of work experience uh, venturing out in, into their first venture. Um, it, it's really the entire spectrum. So when they come to you, what services do you provide for them? Sure, it, it's really very needs based in terms of where they're at in their company and where they want to go. Yep. Um, and, and so for a lot of people, we help them on um, finding capital to grow their business. For a lot of people, we help them find talent. That tends to be one of the most um, needed resources. Let's talk to the capital thing because sure. it's hard for an entrepreneur really starting out mm -hmm. to go to the bank and the bank said, oh yeah, uh, we'll, we'll loan you money. It's pretty hard to do. It's, we're not in the Silicon Valley, so you're not yep. going to have venture capital money that's running around. You're talking about Ma and Pa here, I yep. would guess, right? So, so they're coming in to, they, they need advice, they need mentoring, which you can give them, about starting a business. But I guess the finance is a, is a key component to, to many of them who come to you, right? Yep. And so probably, you know, I think it's very important that we've created this community that uh, over time has begun to um, self-educate. Uh, and so when we started out, it was very challenging. I think a lot of people thought, you know, they read TechCrunch, they saw Shark Tank, um, they, they, yeah. they said, oh, all I need to do is get in front of a bunch of wealthy people and they'll just throw money at me yeah. and, and then I'll be famous. And, um, and, and so a lot of what we have done has been an education process around uh, people getting money who have sustainable, good, solid business ideas. And so we really work with them to um, create a company first and, and worry about capital second. Uh, and so, for instance, um, this past week, we actually did our fifth pitch camp where we bring uh, a number of companies and a number of investors together. We started pitch camp two and a half years ago. We do it uh, every six months. The first pitch camp, I was pulling people off the street who had an idea. And I said, <laughs> have you ever had an idea? Please come talk to, and, and, and the investors that we had um, you know, were, were investors potentially in name only or, or self-styled um, in, in the sense that they were willing to give advice, but they, they didn't really put a lot of money. Um, but the investors were people that are not banks not venture capital firms. So uh, some, so, some, so let's fast forward okay. to last week where yeah. we had 45 investors, most of whom have put money to work in the last six months, um, anywhere from uh, small venture firms down here in the Atlanta area to just high net worth people who have, who have invested in companies before. Um, and the companies that were pitching really also ran the entire spectrum from needing $10,000, um, and I think that guy's already been funded, to people that needed a half a million or more. Um, really? It, it, goes, it goes that big? <laughs> yep. Um, well, if you, if, you, if you need a half a million, you must have a business that's ongoing, I would think, right? Yep. You've got, some, hope, kind of, right? <laughs> you've got some kind of a, a track record of doing something. Yep, yep. Um, and and so, so we really saw that entire sort of spectrum this past pitch camp. Um, but we limited the number of companies this, this past time to only 10. Um, most of them were revenue generating. Most of them had been around for more than a year. Um, and, it, and it was really neat to see the difference in reaction both between the investor and the companies that were able to interact. The people that are pitching to the, to the investors, up to this point, have they, how have they financed themselves? They bootstrapped it, friends and family, all kinds of ways, I guess. All 
sometimes you don't even want to know. Um, <laughs> yeah. But but truly the entire yeah uh, uh, everything from small lines of credit at banks to friends and family to um, working side jobs to consulting. Uh, quite a number of our companies have side businesses that are that are generating revenue in sort of a very passive way yep. to allow them to to work on their full time idea.